Good afternoon, Mayfield. It is Thursday, March 31st. We have made it through a very long month together, and I'm very proud of your hard work. This is Miss McPhee and our weekly homework problem. I did go to the shoebox. We had one suggestion, and it was for, can you please do weight of a circle? So sure, we can do that. Always double check, by the way. This time, no back to our homework. Uh, we've been working this week on writing equations and expressions and solving for that variable. And we've even talked a little bit about how we can write multiplication algebraically in a way that you haven't seen before. So we're going to see all of that in this problem. Here is a balanced hanger. We're going to start by writing the equation for the hanger. So one way to write the equation is to write the two sides as we see them right now. And what I see is that I have W plus W plus W plus W on one side, and then 25 on the other. And I know they are equal because the hanger is balanced. If they were unequal, we would have a tilt one way or the other. But what we talked about this week is this is the same as saying W times 4. And we used to write multiplication this way. And then earlier this year, we talked about using this kind of notation to show multiplication. But this week we talked about, we can actually write this down exactly as we see it. We see four W's. Four W equals 25. All of these are fine equations, but algebraically the best one and the simplest one is this last one, where four is the coefficient and W is the variable, this unknown number, and when it's smashed together like this, it just means multiply. And now we're going to find the weight of one circle. So a couple of ways we could do this, right? One, maybe we're going to use our diagram. We could cut it in half and then cut it into fourths to try to figure out what W is going to be equal to. It's going to be one of those fourths. I want to show you first using the equation because just because it's not a whole number, Answer does not mean that it's difficult. If 4 times W equals 25, and I just want 1 W, then we talked this week about doing the opposite operation. Instead of multiplying, I can divide by 4. Now, if I do that to just one side, I'm not balanced anymore. I'm going to be tilted. But if I divide both sides by four, that's my balanced move, and the hanger is still gonna be balanced. I'm just taking off the same amount from each side. And then you might say, but Miss McPhee, I don't know, four times nothing gives me 25. Hey, remember, a division problem is also a fraction. You're done. 25 divided by four is 25 fourths. Now, if you wanted, could you make that into a mixed number? and make it into six and one-fourth? Sure. Could you make that into a decimal and make it six and 25 hundredths? Sure, and maybe those numbers make more sense to you, but this is a perfectly fine answer. It's in simplest form, and we were able to find it just by dividing 25 divided by four. Great answer. Maybe you wanna use the diagram. So maybe I wanna start by taking that 25 and just cutting it into half. You're good with cutting things in a half. I know that 25 is 12 and a half and 12 and a half. And then I want to cut each of those into half, and that's going to give me one fourth. Well, half of 12 is six, and half of one half, here's my one whole, here's my one half. Half of that is going to give me one fourth. So maybe you use the diagram to show that it's six and one fourth. Maybe you use your equation to show that it's six and one fourth or any of its equivalent values. Hope that helps a little bit. Again, you've been working really hard and I appreciate you. We won't have homework next week, but we will have homework once we come back from the break. Be well, everybody. Bye.